Good morning, everybody. If you're new to my channel, please uh, think about hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment in the comment section down below. But let's go ahead and get into what I think is stress relieving. Um, I like to get out my coin album, obviously, price guide here. And I'll show you why I'm getting it out right now. I just stopped by a coin shop and I bought a bag of pennies here. All wheat pennies. They say they're unsearched. So I'm going to chill out, go through these, look them up, look for some varieties, some errors and stuff like that. I do got my coin microscope here. So I'm going to zoom in, kick back, put my feet up, see if we can't find some that are worth some money. So give me a second. I'll start going through these. Um, I'll pull the camera to it when I find something that's worth something. If not, we'll do a summary or a wrap up at the end. So I'll be right back. All right, so right off the bat, the second penny that I grabbed up to look is actually a 1915 Denver. It's in pretty beat up shape, but uh, in beat up shape, let's see here. 1915D right there, it's worth $2 in beat up shape. So that's actually a really good one. So pretty sweet find right off the bat for just number two out of the bag. I'll put that off to the side. I'm gonna separate these by um, 30s, 40s, 50s, and teens as well. So man, maybe we might find some good, good stuff in here. Hopefully, this one actually looks pretty old too. So you're gonna zoom in. Nope, I'll have to throw it under the scope. Get this thing to focus. Okay, it's a 38. So nothing too special, but uh, I'll let you. I'll bring you guys back in when I find something uh, pretty cool here. All right, all right. Found a 1931 here. It's kind of old. That's uh. That's kind of a. A semi key date. It's definitely worn. All right. All right, I might end up having to stop because I haven't, I still got a whole bag there and then all these to go through. We found in 1923. So I might just have to hold up. Let me just show you some teens if I find any more teens in here or anything that's worth money, but I'll still go ahead and separate them. Teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. So this one's a 20s, so we'll go ahead and get started. If not, this video is gonna be huge. Uh, pretty good bag so far. All right, on the 1925 S, so it's a pretty old one. 26 million, looks like, of those minted. So that's a pretty good find. All right, let you know what else I get. Very next one I grabbed, a 1919 Philadelphia. So that penny is 100 years old. Man, if that thing could talk, wow. All right. Get back at it. Okay, got a 27 Denver. It's actually a pretty good coin. Actually, the wheat lines aren't too bad. So that's a good coin to have. Definitely a keeper. Look at that. 1914. 105 years old. That thing is just beat up. But that's still a cool coin. Wow. Pretty worn. Okay. Found a 1919 S. I know it's hard to you can kind of see it. Let's talk about a worn out coin. Still a cool find, 100 year old. S mint mark. All right, 29 Denver. That's a pretty decent find, low mintage. I am still on this pile here, guys. These are 20s, teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. We still got that whole bag. So 
I'm just going to show you the ones that are actually really good or this video is going to get way out of hand. So, but I'm having a blast going through these. I'll go ahead and show you this one. It's 26 Denver. I don't know what's going on over there with that Liberty. Give me a second. We'll pull that up a little bit closer, but it's actually a really low mintage coin here as well. So let's go ahead and pull this thing up. So it's pretty worn, but I'll tell you what, that looks like some kind of cut or something. Hard to say though with how worn out this coin is, but it sure looks like extra material to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think that is? I think it's a cut or if it's just just the coin deteriorating. So this coin is in rough shape. So there's a 1918S mint mark. So it's pretty scratched up and scuffed up. Um, you can still see a little bit of the wheat lines there, but not too bad. Got 26 Denver, semi key date. Not in the greatest shape, but uh, like I said, I still like them, these old ones. They're cool to me, man. I'll take them any day of the week. It's got another semi-key date here. 106 years old, 1913 Denver. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Oh, it's pretty worn. Still a keeper, though. Okay, got a 25 San Francisco here. That's a semi-key date. We'll take that. Actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, I like that. Okay, found a 33D Denver. So definitely a semi-key date. It's kind of got some stuff on it. And it is pretty worn. But uh, we'll take it. Got a pretty good stack going teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, and believe it or not, that's all the 50s in that. I still got a whole bag full. All right, there's another semi-key, 1928 San Francisco. It's not in the best shape, but still a semi-key date. Okay, here's a 32. It's definitely a semi-key date. Not bad. Love the semi-key dates. We'll take it. This is actually a pretty cool one. 1914. It actually has a decent value to it. Um, boy, it's kind of weird looking. I don't know if there was a piece of tape or something on it. I don't know. Wheat lines look eh. The one on the right looks good. We'll take it. There's actually a pretty nice one too. Not necessarily in great shape, um, but a definitely a good date, 1912. Slip that over. It's pretty slick on the wheat lines, but definitely a hard to find one. So 1912D, still got a bunch in the bag, and then I got a handful that I'm kind of going through. But look at this, these are 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s and teens so definitely an awesome bag and there's still quite a bit to go hopefully we can find something really good that 1912 that I just showed you that looks like that's the one worth the most um, let's see here yeah 1912d seven dollars and just beat it condition so that's a pretty good penny Looks like a 1909. It's not an S or a VDB, obviously, but uh, still cool. 1909, and it is worn out. Worn out. We'll take it though. It's really cool, especially to find one in this bag like that. Uh, really cool. All right, 
there's a 1924S. That's kind of a semi-key date, I think. So, it's pretty slick on the wheats. Still a keeper. All right, so, so far we've got teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. This is all I got left, so we'll be wrapping it up in just a second. All right, well, that's a wrap. So I find, found all those in the teens. These are all in the 20s. Quite a few of them in here are worth some money in these 20s, especially the teens. Uh, these are the 30s, some 40s, and then 50s. Surprisingly, uh, there's almost as many. Actually, it's about the same amount of 30s as there is 40s, which is really odd. And look at the look at the 50s. I mean, there's hardly any. The oldest one we found was in 1909, so a 110 year old penny. It's pretty cool. These are all wheat pennies, 95% copper. All right, guys. Well, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to know what I paid for it, I'd like to see you guys guess in the uh, comments. Thanks for watching.